Today, I'll be showing you how I designed and 3D printed my 50,000 subscriber play button. So, let's get started. It all started out in Inventor Fusion 360. All I wanted to do was recreate the YouTube play button that a lot of people seem to get for 100,000 and the gold play button for 1 million subscribers. So I just went out to Google Images and got an image for the YouTube logo their famous play button. So I inserted it as a canvas, and then I traced over the outside of it with a spline. Then on the inside triangle, I just used three lines to trace the design and get everything laid out properly. It's a pretty simple model, but there's a few little quirks that I need to work around, especially considering how little experience I actually have in Fusion. So after I had this outline done, I extruded the base to be one solid piece, about, eh, about as thick as what looked good. I wasn't actually building anything to scale in this until later. So I extruded it a little bit thick and then I used the chamfer tool to chamfer the edge to be, you know, at a certain angle to sort of mimic the curve. And then after that chamfer was applied, I used a fillet to blend it into the entire surface of the play button. And then finally, the last step was to extrude the triangle from the play button up out of the object a little bit. And I also added a chamfer to the edge of that. And that chamfer allows me to make a white border around a central bronze colored play button because that's what I plan to do. I plan to have the background of it be black and then a white border and then a sort of coppery bronzy color for the main play button triangle. So after I made the 3D model and I thought it looked good, I scaled it in Mesh Mixer to be the correct dimensions. I think it was like 125 millimeters long. And then I set it into my slicer at 0.1 millimeter layer height and reasonably quick and sent it off to the printer. Now the print did go pretty well there weren't really any major errors, but one of the things I needed to do was swap out the filament twice midway through the print. And that is a bit of a tricky feat to do, but in this next little clip, I'll show you how I did it and how I also do it in all of my other prints. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is pause the print, scroll to the prepare menu quickly, move axis, Move 10 millimeters, move X. Let's move that over there. Oh, not move 10 millimeters, that's a bit too much. Ignore the beeping, that's my battery charger. Now you're gonna wanna do this quickly. Eh, I don't, I don't wanna move the camera because of the time lapse, so you're just gonna have to deal with that. Remove filament filter. Clip down, toss out your filament. Try to break the hair so that it doesn't get everywhere. And roll up this to there. Grab your white filament, find the end. Next, down, insert the new filament. Force it down through until it runs white. Take tweezers, remove the goop from underneath the filament or underneath the extruder. Get the menu on the resume print button. Prime it some more. Clip it away and hit resume print. And there you go. Shouldn't take too long to reprime the nozzle. And now you can see it's printing in white. Ha, <laughs> there we go.
so now that the play button is off the print, I just washed off the sugar water from the back with a little bit of water, and then I was done. There was basically no post-processing to do because there were like no stringing, no travel moves, nothing really that would cause errors in the print, and it's done. So if you want to see my other 50,000 subscriber special where I actually talk about 50,000 subscribers, you can click on the video at the end of this one on the end cards, which I'm still not a big fan of. But thank you all so much for uh, watching my stuff and subscribing. It means a lot. And stay tuned for more 3D printing in the future. So this has been LaserLord10, 3D printing a custom play button. Oh, you can download it on Thingiverse too. See the description. And thank you for watching.